What's up everybody, it's David Rears, owner of 39 Minute Workout and Wellness, and this was supposed to be my Facebook Live workout for our Facebook group, but Facebook Live was, the one glitch with Facebook Live is, when it doesn't want to participate, it doesn't. So, instead, I'm going to do the workout, I'm going to post it, you're going to do it. I would love to hear whether you participated, how it went, what you felt like, was it challenging. Uh, you do need two things, one is a kettlebell, hopefully that you can press and swing, if you can press it, you can swing it. Uh, and the second is the basic knowledge of a kettlebell swing, okay? So we're gonna do a little workout. It's gonna start with uh, three moves, and then there'll be two more that we do every time after that. So the first move is called a thruster. And we're gonna do pretty low reps on that work on strength. So a thruster is basically what, uh, a squat and a press. So we'll squat down elbows to knees, nice tall posture. We'll press up through the motion and then we'll unpress. Then we will do a lunge, right? Boom, and all the way back up. And then we will do a row. Now the row I'm gonna suggest is a one-legged row where you're going to balance on your foot, push your chest to the floor, and then I'm gonna row to here. If you don't feel comfortable with that, your alternative will be a one arm row, so you're gonna put your elbow to your knee, you're gonna row towards your belly and then lower it. We're gonna do one thruster, one row, one lunge. Switch hands, one, 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 and then we'll do 12 kettlebell swings and we'll repeat, okay? So it's a lot of different moving parts, squats, lunges, presses, swings, hitting most of the muscle groups. Then we'll, after we've done one on one side, one on the other side, then we'll go to two reps, two reps, three reps, three reps, and repeat. We're gonna do this for about 10 minutes, okay? So, first we're gonna do a brief little warm up, and it's just a joint mobility warm up from the neck down to our ankles. So follow along with me, do this guy. Let's get our joints a little bit ready, all right? So, you're gonna start by just nice tall posture, and you're gonna look to the right, and you're gonna to look to the left. Look to the right, look to the left. Give me about five of each of these things. Four and five. Now we're gonna tuck our chin and then we're gonna look up, okay? So without doing any extra, tuck chin, look up, tuck, four and five. All right, next one, so we're gonna to go to shoulders. Big shoulder circles for me. Do a bunch of these. We're gonna go forward and backward. Okay, forward and reverse direction. One. And next we're gonna do a fun one called the Egyptian. This one is cool. Remember that, don't, that song, Walk Like an Egyptian. That's what we're gonna do. We're gonna take our palms both facing the floor. We're gonna rotate our palms the opposite direction and this shoulder sort of naturally wants to come forward. So we're gonna do that a bunch. Let's turn that way. When you get to the, to the end of it, your palms are both facing up. So turn, turn, turn. I don't need to say it every time, do I? You get the idea. Do a bunch of them. If you hear a lot, hear a lot of clicking and popping, that's okay. That just means you join the crowd. You've got some arthritis in there. I had arthritis in uh, high school from pitching and base and wrestling. So, you know, it happens, just stay strong. Uh, next one. So this one's a little bit trickier. Try to try to try the bleh, try to work this one with me. You're gonna keep this tight, and it's sort of like you lean into a counter and reach for something. So I'm not moving my whole body. This is here. I'm gonna, I'm like, oh, I gotta reach for something. Okay. So from your nipple line, you're going to reach for something here. Reach for something. Reach, reach, reach. Now if you don't get this one at first, don't beat yourself up. It's a little hard to do. Okay. You'll get used to it. And now we're gonna project, this is a big one. When we're on the floor, we do a yoga move called cat cow all the time. This one, you're gonna project your sternum up in the air. So I'm creating an arch in my back. And then you're gonna arch like bad posture. Okay, so give me a bunch of those. I wanna push up, breathe in, push out, breathe out, and really cave. Push up, push this part up, and breathe out, and really cave. All right, give me a bunch of those. Breathe in, breathe out, cave. And really exaggerate that arch in your spine. We sit in some really bad posture all day, right? Really bad posture. And that posture creates neck problems, shoulder problems. You, you feel me, right? You got a lot of the same stuff. 
and we get our little uh, keyboard posture, desk posture, right, cell phone posture. We gotta fix that, so we've got to work on that spine mobility. Next one from our belly, we're just gonna draw some circles. Actually, put your hand on your hips. We're gonna draw circles from our hips, okay? So your knees are staying locked, inflexed, unflexed, and you're gonna do, I don't know, five in each direction-ish. And stop, good enough. I'm gonna back up so you see this guy. So now I'm gonna get my feet real close together. I'm gonna put my hands on my knees, and it's sort of like mogul, so I'm gonna draw circles. If this one bugs your knees, go slower or do smaller range of motion or just don't do it at all. Okay, let's reverse direction. And lastly, we're going to do an ankle. So you can either do this up in the air or you can just put your toe, which you can't see on me, down on the ground and you'll draw a nice big circle with that toe. All right, and then if you haven't done both ways, do five in each direction. Switch legs, okay? Just put, the, I like putting the toe because then I can really control the right, and, and reverse directions. You might find one way or another feels a little less coordinated. That's really typical. Okay, good, so we're a little limbered up. All of our joints are a little warmed up. Our sinews are a little bit ready to pick up bells. I wanna do uh, one more kettlebell drill, or sorry, one more warm-up drill, and that's with a kettlebell. You're gonna hold this guy upside down. One of the only times we hold this upside down. Do y'all know where I'm going with this? It's called a halo. I'm gonna keep my belly tight. I'm gonna draw a circle around my head. So unlike a halo, it's not going over my head, it's going around. Three, four, five. Notice my arms come back to, to here every time, okay? I'm in reverse directions. One, two, three, four, and five. Cool, let's work out, folks. So if you've got your bell, this has to be a bell that you can press up overhead for at least three reps, okay? That might be a light bell for a swing. So if you happen to have extra, give me two different bells. Give me a press weight and then a swing weight. If you have one, it's fine as long as you can press it. So let's go. It's going to be important during this workout that you keep up with my pace, okay? I am not going to crush you in this workout. I'm not really interested in that. We're just going to do a couple rounds of this guy, have you get a basic sense of what a kettlebell workout might look like. So this one's what we call an AMRAP, meaning as many reps or rounds as possible. So we're gonna start off, here we go, with one rep of each. So with me, give me a thruster, you're gonna squat, you're gonna press, you're gonna unpress. One rep. Now you're going to fold at your hips with your chest arched and you're gonna go one row, keep it down by your side, and we're gonna lunge. We're gonna go down to our knee and back up. Great, switch hands and we're gonna thrust her, okay? Squat, press, unpress. Good, drop it to your side, hips back, leg up, and we're gonna go one row, and I lost my balance, it happens to even me, and we're gonna go one lunge. If I forgot to say it, the easier version of a row, if you hate that one-legged row and you're like, David, I can't do that, take a long stride back, put your elbow to your knee, and that makes a bench, basically, and you'll do your row like this. That's perfectly fine. But I would say if you feel like you don't have balance, get balance by working balance. All right, so now we're gonna do 12 kettlebell swings, all right? So. Great. All right, so that's one round. Now we're gonna do Two reps of each, all right? Two thrusters, two rows, whichever style you pick, two lunges, switch hands, do two again, all right? So here we go, we're gonna pick it up, try to keep up with me. We're gonna go squat, press, unpress. Squat, press, unpress, okay? Now what? We drop it, chest to the floor, and we row towards our belly button. Or give me a bench, right? Or go elbow to knee and pull for two reps. Now lunge. We're gonna go back to the floor and up. One, two, switch hands. If you know how to clean, great. We're gonna go thrusters. One and two. Now row. One, two. Keep it down by your side when you're done the row and lunge. One, 
two. Now some people do not, let's do 12 swings. Some people do not lunge and so they'll just squat. That's fine, if you squat instead of lunge, you'll pick it up here. Okay, let's do 12 swings. Okay, so quick breather, and then we're gonna do three reps of each, and then I'll be like a full round of it, and then we'll do it one more time through, call it a day, all right? So, three reps each, all right? Let's do thrusters. Squat, press, unpress, two, three, down by the side, we're rowing, all right, I'll do the supported one for you. Elbow to your knee, and we're rowing. One, two, three, and we're lunging. Two, three, switch hands. You know how to be fancy and do it like that. Go for it. Thruster. Row. Lunge. And again, 12 swings. And a quick breath. All right, how you doing? How's that? four or five minutes into it. So we'll do one more round of that whole thing, all right? So by the end of it, you've done six times 12 sets of swings. You've done a bunch of sets of presses, squats, rows, lunges. You've gotten full body work. Um, if you got the right weights, this can turn into great fat burn and muscle endurance, okay? So, uh, and because we're keeping the reps low, you have enough weight, we're also working on getting stronger. Which is why I love kettlebells. Being able to get stronger and burn fat at the same time is not really common with weight training. So, something really unique. So, we're back to one rep. If you're not following, just do what I say. That's why I'm here. We're going on one thruster and one row and one lunge. By the way, you step with the same side of the bell. If you haven't been, that's fine, but I always do that. Okay, so one, one, and one. Good, 12 swings. All right, quick breather. And then we got two reps. There's always that little ricochet right after you're done the set where your heart go boom, 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 boom. That's good. That means we've gone, when it's hard to talk, that means we've added a little anaerobic cardio under there. We're burning fat better, all right? Which is always good. Get stronger, burn fat. What else you got to do, all right? Let's go to two reps. Two reps. So, thruster, one, two rows. I'm going back to my balance row, my one-legged row. Two, and lunge. Right leg, right leg, because it's in my right hand. I look backwards, do you remember? Okay, roster, one, two, row, and one, two. Stand tall. Remember in the lunge, it's as if I have a pole straight up my spine, and through the whole motion, that pole stays totally vertical. So one and two, and that pole stays totally vertical through me. Give me 12 swings. All right, we only got one more set left. 
We got the set of three, 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 12 swings. We're done. Hopefully you feel good, all right? It's a nice little abbreviated workout here for my bracelet. My son got me that for Christmas. I've never worn it, bruising me. <laughs> all right, so we're going to three and then we're done, all right, folks? So good job if you've hung in there. We're going one, thruster, two, and three. One legged row or the supported row, right? One, two, three, and stay tall. Remember, spine's totally tall through these lunges, right? I care about that more than which leg did you step with. That matters a lot more. Better form's good. Good, other arm, last arm for the workout. Two, three, rows. One, two, three, and down by the side, nice tall posture. Finish with good form. And our 12 swings. folks good job you hung in there you got a good workout right about a 10 minute workout I kind of nailed that high five to me uh, <laughs> with a uh, one bell four moves and y'all got a great workout you got your heart rate up you used a lot of muscles you did some strength and you did some anaerobic cardio if you got the intensity there if you didn't believe me I'll help you with that thanks so much for tuning in again the what was Breakthrough 39 Facebook group will now be T39 Online Kettlebell Community. If you want to join, go to the URL that I'll put under this link. Join us by Monday. We start our 60 day your best year ever challenge at that day. It's a fitness and nutrition focus. It will get phenomenal results over the next 60 days. No reason you can't burn up to 15 pounds of fat and end up with much more lean firm muscle replace it feel more confident feel more energetic all that good stuff thanks so much for joining us i'll check you next time all right take care